Thank you so much for joining our program, Shifting Grades Online School on YouTube. Today we shall be discussing living inequalities. When you look at this question, we are told to form the three linear inequalities for the line one, line two, line three, that satisfies the region marked R. Therefore, we got a region here, which is marked R, the unshaded part. This region has been bordered by three lines, L1, L2, L3. You can see L1 is here, L2, then L3. That way. So let us look at how we can form the inequalities which have been represented. In most of the cases, you shall be given inequalities for you to represent them graphically. But in this case, the representation has already been done. Now we are tasked to simply come up with the linear inequalities. One thing that I want you to know is that what we are having here, L1, L2, and L3, are what we call borderlines. So these are borderlines that represent certain inequalities. The first thing that we shall do is to come up with the equations that represent these borderlines. So what are the equations which have been plotted? We begin with L1. So look at L1. We're going to extract some two coordinates that lie on L1. We can pick the intercepts, for example, this one. So on the y-intercept, we have the coordinate 0, 2. Then at the x-intercept, we are having 3, 0. 3, 0, thanks. So with the two coordinates, gradient can be obtained. So what is the gradient? For line 1, we need change in y over change in x. So y coordinate, we need to pick 0, which is here, minus the y coordinate on the other side, which is a 2, divided by 3 minus 0. So this is giving us exactly negative 2 out of 3. So negative 2, that is our gradient. Let's also remember the general equation of a straight line that says when you have y equals to mx plus c. You know, in this case now, m and c are constants. m represents the gradient and c represents the y-intercept. So with that knowledge, we don't need to struggle now to express this gradient for us to come up with a straight line equation. Not really. We just need to replace the constants in this general equation such that we say y equals to m is the gradient, negative 2 out of 3, plus c is the y-intercept. So for this particular line, where is the y-intercept? It is at 2. We are done with the equation. Mm -hmm. Negative 2 over 3x. That's with so we are now having the equation negative 2 over 3, x plus constant c, which is the y-intercept, and it's a 2 for our case. So at this point, we can even use integers by ensuring that we don't have a fraction. So if we multiply through by 3, we shall do away with uh, fractions, and we shall be having 3y equals 2 negative 2x plus 6 because I've multiplied everything by 3. So this is the first equation. Now, after you've gotten the equation, you are supposed now to identify which linear equation was plotted, represented by the equation that we have, or rather, which inequality had been represented by the line that you've already discovered. So instead of the equal sign, we need now to come up with the inequality sample, which will best suit this particular inequality. So we proceed to the required region and we identify a coordinate which is in the required side. So we can identify a coordinate like this. Uh, I'm picking coordinate 
negative 2, 2. Then after you've identified a coordinate, which is in the required side, now we shall subject this coordinate in the equation. Then we shall compare the right hand side and the left hand side and we see which inequality is the best for this particular case. So allow me now to talk about where there is y, we substitute positive 2. Wherever there is x, we substitute a negative 2 because the first coordinate is the x1, the second coordinate is the y. Therefore, I'm having 3, then I substitute 2, then that is the left. Eh? On the right, I shall be having negative 2. Where there is x, I substitute negative 2 plus 6. So you see this is a 6. Then on the other side, we have negative 2 by negative 2 becoming positive. So that is a positive 4 plus 6. That will give me 10. Then now I ask myself, what is the relationship between 6 and 10? Is 6 greater than or is 6 less than 10? And the fact is that 6 is less than 10. If we've discovered that 6 is less than 10, then the inequality that shall be used is that of less than. So I write now the equation, but now with an inequality sign pop. 3y less than negative 2x plus 6. That is the inequality for line 1. Remember, the line is dotted. So there is no way we could have said less than or equal to. We could not have used this because of the dotted nature. When the line is complete or a full line, then we introduce or equal to upon the inequality sign. Let's look at L2. That, that is L1 and we are done. Perfectly done. As we continue learning, ladies and gentlemen, let me remind you of our program here. The August holiday program whereby we are recruiting learners from all over the country to learn with us via Google Meet. So if you are interested in our programs, kindly reach out through 0704153366 so that you may enroll to our programs very rich programs we are getting the best teachers across the country for you to get the best in chemistry biology physics mathematics and the languages so kindly get yourself a slot before time is gone by reaching out to the number that has been attached let's now proceed to the second line the second line is l2 we are also going to pick coordinates on the x-intercept. What are we having? Negative 4, 0. On the y, we are having 0, 5. That way. So gradient 2 can be obtained. And how do we obtain gradient 2? Change in y over change in x. So 5 minus 0 divided by, that is change in y, 0 minus a negative 4. Yeah, 0 minus a negative 4. So this gradient now is equivalent to 5 over 4. If gradient is 5 over 4, then it shall be very easy for us now to frame the equation. Y equals to, instead of M, our gradient is now known. 5 over 4, X plus the constant C, which represents the the y-intercept, just write it directly, which is a 5. So we can also do away with fractions, and that is optional. Remember, we can still proceed with the inequality having fractions. So you can just write it as 4y equals to 5x plus 20. This is the linear equation which has been plotted for L2. With this linear equation, we can now identify the inequality simple that shall best suit this particular case. Therefore, I'll be having the same same coordinate which is in the required side. This coordinate is negative 2, 2. So let's examine this equation using the coordinate on the required side. Remember, any other coordinate will give us the same result as long as it is 
as long as it is in the required side. Wherever there is y, we represent with a positive 2, x a negative 2. So we shall have 4 into positive 2. This is equal to, okay, not equal to, actually, that is now our left hand side. So let's check on the right hand side, whereby we are having 5 and instead of x, a negative 2, then plus 20. Now, on the left, we can see this is a positive 8, right? It's a positive 8. Then on the left, we shall be having negative 10 plus 20, giving us a positive 10. How does 8 and 10 relate? It's automatic that 8 is less than 10. Therefore, the inequality now is less than. So 4y is less than 5x plus 20. But we're also supposed to remember that line 2 is a full line. Therefore, we introduce or equal to. Less than or equal to. So we are now done with the inequality that has been represented in L2. We shall now conclude with the inequality in L3. It's also good for you to remember that uh, our till number is 4977742. So in support of our programs, kindly you can channel your support through this till number. God bless you so much as you continue supporting our programs. The last inequality. Look at this. Just an horizontal line, L3. So with this horizontal line, you just supposed to identify on the vertical axis where is this line passing and it is passing at negative 2. So if it's passing at negative 2 then this is the line this is the line y equals to negative 2. This is now the line and remember it's a full line. So upon discovering the inequality sample we shall include or equal to due to the full nature of the line. So with this now, we again apply the inequality. Mm -hmm. Just the simple method of testing the inequality to be used. Again, you pick any coordinate on the required side. Then the value of y in this case is a 2. On the required side, the value of y is greater than negative 2. So the value of y is a 2. And on the right, we are having a negative 2. What is the relation between 2 and negative 2? Automatically, 2 is greater than negative 2. If it is so, then this inequality shall be y greater than or equal to negative 2. So this is the last inequality. This is the second one and the first one was obtained at this point. Thank you so much for following. Remember to subscribe and share. To reach out, consider the number attached on the screen. Thank you so much.